What's going on guys, SPR Tex here today, I want to show you some tips about curtain walls. Actually, I was working for a project and I decided to share some knowledge with you. I placed a curtain wall to its place and for the project we need to place another curtain wall to here, it will be entrance another one on the second layer on the second floor of course instead of using curtain wall you can use classical doors and windows to this purpose but curtain walls gives you more function and more option for movement first of all instead of starting from scratch i want to duplicate this curtain wall model with all click and inject to here as you can see it was placed to first floor but it isn't matter we can fix it once you place this from the home story from here we can change to ground floor and it will be placed to ground floor for the entrance this part will be door the remaining part will be stayed as glass to do it we will click edit and we will click our glass part and from the left top of the window we can see this member type built in CW panel let's click it and we can see panel types here we can turn this to window type polygonal window double window asymmetrical doors revolving doors etc I want this to be single plane door Therefore, I'm going to click this single plane door. As you can see, it was changed to single plane door. But we need to make some changes. For instance, there is no need to use this border for our door. So let's click this and hit delete. As you can see, if we look at from this direction, we have a gap here. To fix it, we can click exit and click this point and we can click this stretch it will be changed according to your mouse position and we will click this top point and also the door height will be changed if you are not satisfied with your door height you can click edit again and now we will right click this scheme grid now we can change our scheme design we can hit ALT and click this inner polygon. After that we can place another one. For instance from this point to this point. If it doesn't work, if you click your scheme, you will see this input method. Now it's boundary, we will change this to grid. Now we can place different grid parts. like this if we hit exit we will see some modules will be placed on our newly created grid once we have done that you can copy this glass panel to here with all clicking this and inject with ctrl plus alt and of course you can do reverse For this door, I didn't like its material and handle type. You can fix it. You can click here or hit Ctrl plus T. You will see its options opened. If you want to change the handle type, you can go to handle page and change its style. For instance, we can use this style 15. Now let's click OK and we will see its position need to be fixed. Let's go back and I want to change this position, maybe 8. Way more better. And of course, we will change the glass settings. It's great here in the render, you will see different glass surfaces will be created and you need to fix them one by one. Instead of fixing them one by one, you can make one single material and in the rendering process, 
changing the materials will be easier. For this purpose, we will go to the model attributes and we have override surfaces. Let's check it. And frame will not going to be zinc, it's going to be aluminum. And also this one. And glass will be changed to well, it was changed to blue automatically. And that's all. Let's click OK. And our model entrance door is ready. Let's continue. My other suggestion for the curtain walls will be about corners. For instance, for the first floor, we will create a curtain wall. And we will see a corner appeared here. Let's do this. Let's change the story to first story. Let's click OK. And by the way, our direction is wrong. We can click this flip to fix the direction. This part is important because I want this part to be divided to three. It will be equal each part. And this part will be remained as one block. And also for this curtain wall model, we will fix our corner. Because I don't want to see any frame from corner. It must be something like this invisible corner. Let's do this. Our curtain wall is already selected. Let's go to settings here. And from the scheme, we will see columns and rows. To change this vertical margin's position, we need to change this A value. And it is going to be changed from here. So it's columns. Now it says the differences between the margins will be 2 meters. But I don't need it. I need to divide this by 3. To do it, we will click this columns and not base division, number of divisions. We won't change this bit value. We will change this value. Number of pattern division along total width. I will click it, input 3, and click OK. And you will see your curtain wall will be divided by 3. But unfortunately, this part was divided to. Let's fix it to, click edit. But this time, we will right click scheme, click this part. Not this part, we will change this part, fix it, and go to its settings. After that, we will change its tree from here. Click OK. You will see this part will be divided by 1, and you will see this part will be stayed as before. Now it's OK. Click Exit Edit Mode, and it's divided by 3, and this part will be divided by 1. OK. Now let's fix this part to this corner. Let's go to settings and well, it's corner. Therefore, we will change corner type. This corner frame. As you can see, its type is built-in frame. But I want this to be same as this one. To do it, you can go to the this part, invisible or whatever it's, and you can change its settings. But I don't remember which was the value. 3, 2, but I don't know. Therefore, I'm going to click our previously created module. It's building but creates frame. I want to copy this to here. To achieve it, we will save this as favorite. To do it, we will click this icon. And from the bottom part, we will see some symbols, new favorites and new folder. We don't need to create new folder for now. Let's click new favorite. And you can write any name. I want to call this the frame. And we will see our the frame. Now we can go back to the corner frame. And go back to the favorite icon. You will double click this the frame. Or you can click pass and hit apply. Oops, we've changed the corner frame.
Anyway, you get the point. Now they are same model. This one, this one is the same. They are the same, but the final solution is not good as we want. We can fix it or leave it. But you get the point. You have learned how you can assign your settings as a favorite and load into the another frame. Let's do it again. For instance, let's copy this border to here. Let's go to its settings. Click the corner. Favorites. Create nave. Border. Hit enter. And click OK. Go to this one. Go to settings. Click the corner frame again. And double click this and it will be fixed. By the way, since we have entered here, let's go back to the boundary frame and let's give this 10 centimeters. I want to change this value, for instance, 15. Let's change it again. What about if we make it 20? Okay, now it's better. Maybe 16. Yeah, way more better. All right, here is another tip for you. For instance, for this model, we need to place one more curtain wall. Let's say that we will copy this curtain wall to first floor. Let's copy to its position and change the home story first floor. But unfortunately, the openings won't be created automatically. We have two options here. Once you can click your walls and change its bottom height. You can make this so, but in some situations it's not useful. Since your reference line moved to the top of the curtain wall, its elevation is also changed above your eye cut limits. Therefore, we won't see this wall in the floor plan. If we want to change this, we cannot see it, and this is a big problem. Instead of changing the elevation of your wall's bottom elevation, my suggestion is using openings. If you use openings, you can place them in any shape you want. You can change their height, their size, and thickness. For this situation, this ball is not affected by this opening. If you want this wall affected with this opening too, you can click this icon because you have selected your opening. You will see this plus and now we can click our wall which we want to make it opened. By this method, your walls continued being modified in the floor plan. Alright, these were my suggestions for curtain walls for this part. I can't remember if it was 4 or 5, how many points we have mentioned. But in the end, I think we have learned something new. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. In the future, I want to inform you some modeling techniques for ArchiCAD for my ongoing projects. For instance, we have a lake here. You can see a lake aligned with the Google Earth. You can see it has got its own layers and in the render, it will be more realistic. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, have a nice day.